Hello everybody, thank you very much for watching. Um, once again, apologize about the audio quality. I'm recording once again with my Note 9. And what I will show you in this quick video, um, what's gonna happen if I will take the Pixel 1 and I'll connect it to uh, send to you Superbook. I'm just gonna take the Pixel off the case. It's gonna be easier for me to uh, get all the cables connected. This is very, very, here you go. Right, okay, so first of all, send to you a uh, Superbook is powered on, um, getting the power via um, wall socket and USB type C to uh, old fashioned USB cable. So I'll plug that in on the side and leave it from there, and this is the other end of the cable. From my testing, um, I noticed that I need to download one app, which is called Display Link Demo, Desktop Demo. That's the app. You can find it in the Google Play Store by searching Display Link Demo or Desktop Demo. So that is running. I'll open this app and that's what I see at the moment on the screen. Another thing what I need, I need one of those. This is USB Type-C to old-fashioned USB adapter. Why I'm using this? Because my cable USB Type-C and the other cable end of the cable ends up with the USB old-fashioned one. So I'm just gonna plug that in. Here you go, so that's plugged in. Next, I'm gonna take the adapter or end of the cable with the adapter and plug it into a Pixel 1. When I plugged in, it's gonna ask me which app I wanna choose to open. I have two of them downloaded but I need to choose the top one and tap again to activate. And in about a second or so, it's gonna ask me to do the same again. And as you can see on the Sentio Superbook, I have the Android desktop environment. Let me try to bring that closer. So Android desktop environment, I have the app drawer and this looks like a settings. Because the Android Q, is still in beta and recently the Android Q beta patch 2 let's say this way um, was launched is nothing quick nothing amazing yet uh, if I'm gonna use a trackpad actual mouse moves on the phone but not happening on the desktop so it's, it's not there yet but again it's a very good step towards the uh, make Google making this and what I mean this, I mean your Android phone to becoming your number one all-in-one um, computing device that you will ever need. At the moment, uh, like I see, uh, like you see, there is a mouse just moving on there, and obviously uh, the buttons. So I can basically I'm using the Sentio keyboard and a trackpad to control the phone, but not Android, Android desktop at the moment. So this is where we are at the moment. I will keep updating you with all my findings, what I will find um, when I'm testing this, and I'll see you in the near future. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.